So do you ever think about that and go, wow. Well, when I start like, and that's the thing is like when all of a sudden you don't realize, you don't stop and think about like all of the brands that like, or all of the things that you've accomplished. When I, when I, when I ever, whenever I get down and we talked about that a little bit, like, what do you do? And I'm like, I start telling my story to like some, like, what do you do? Like you're, you know, your airplane friend and you're like sitting next to some rando that like you've never, you know, we'll never see again. And so, and, and I love airplane friends, so, by the way. So some rando. Yeah. Oh, I love that rando. So like you are, you know, sitting next to this, you know, you know, so whoever, your airplane yeah. friend, and they're asking you, and all of a sudden I'm like, I do have a really cool job. So like, I think that like gets me excited. Can I throw out a suggestion that you won't do, but that what I would do, if my wife would let me, which she won't do, she's a saint, so I, and I but this is what I would do. That's what I wanna do. I, I'm so tempted to wanna take all of the brands and put them on the outside of your beautiful family van, and that way, this, <laughs> yeah. it's like a NASCAR. Yeah. <laughs> That's unbelievable. I've actually yeah. worked with Chevy. I've Chevy? worked with Chevrolet. Um, I've worked with, uh, I don't know, like every, I, I've worked with a lot of amazing anthropology, obviously. Um, now wait a minute, if you're watching this, did not graduate. Four seasons. Four seasons, didn't, and the thing is, you didn't graduate from college, but yet you have still acquired the knowledge that you needed to do this stuff. And I, right. lo I love that. I love that you, you haven't died on the hill being like, why didn't, go to college so I don't qualify to be successful. Nor have you said like, well, because I'm successful, I'm done learning. I mean, you're constantly learning stuff. Right, well, I fell into something that I really love and I wanted it to make it work and uh, I found a way. And every month when, those, when, that, when that first job happened, happened um, with uh, Babbel.com, uh, every single month, I, they would, they would email me like two days and they're like, Rachel, you're, you're, you, you gotta get your numbers. And I was like, every month I would just get over the line. I'm like, yes. So then, and then like that progressively, like I just, these, my little systems and my little, you know, my little made up things. So let me ask you, when a brand reaches out to you, can you walk me through how you benefit them and what they most often want you to do? Is this drive traffic or what, what's the deal? So, a brand wants to reach my extremely highly engaged audience. Handmade Charlotte secures more earned media than any other family brand on the internet, period. Boom. Yeah, right. And I can definitively say that. We secure more earned media with our advertisement. Clay, when is the last time that you called 60,000 people and told them about an advertisement that you saw? Rarely. Uh. I, it's, it's, been a while, it, it's been a while since right. I've done unless it. Unless it was maybe a couple years ago at the Super Bowl, maybe like, but you didn't probably like share it. Like, it, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, maybe you call, like, you, you talk to your friend, ah, and the next day, our ads that we create for brands will often share into the millions. That's, now, let me ask this. And they keep going because it's kids, because it's interactive, because it's something we created for you. They're not display ads, they're projects that have you holding the brands. I, I have my reader holding the brand in their hands, having an actual hands-on experience with the brand, eating the brand, painting the brand. Okay, let me let me ask you this then. For free, and they get and the brand is giving that we're giving that to the reader for free. So Rachel, I I, I know that you know your brand. I have looked at your uh, sites. I've gone through and tried to just internet stock as much of the stuff as you do, just to kind of, and you're the real deal. I mean, you always keep it very authentic. Um, you're not uh, putting on a facade. You're not in pictures shamelessly saying, you know, I'm so excited that the people on my side are, are, are here today. That's why I'm drinking my incredible Pepsi while I use my Bic pen to talk about my, you know, you, you're, I mean, you, it's not like that. It doesn't come across as cheese ball. So how do you manage this desire to keep it real and authentic like you do, but yet promote these different brands? Well, I think, well, A, we um, pick and choose who we work with. Okay. And we know, like, if it's something um, off-brand, we won't work with them. Um, but if it's something that we can, um, like, authentically we, we believe in or we can... Um, we can really, we know that our audience, we pretty much know if our audience, if it's going to resonate with our audience or not. So we typically take on projects that we know that we can hit home runs. You know it's going to be home run. We know, we know we can do that. Okay. So like that's, so we already like, you know, we're limiting our chances for failure with an advertiser. If, if we, you know, we pre-qualify them like, you know, um, 
knowing what is going to work with our uh, with our audience.